All right, um, welcome everyone. There is a three minute stream delay, so I'll be talking basically to everyone um, <laughs> in, in three minutes from now. Um, this is a Choker Cup. Uh, it's a, an invitational choker tournament, the first of its kind. Uh, you can use the command exclamation point choker in the chat for more information. Actually, exclamation choker and exclamation choker cup. Um, and that should provide all the information people need. This is new. I, I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know. I'm not sure what to expect. Yes, three minutes delay. Toggy with bits. Thanks, Toggy. I turned off the sound, so bits won't make sounds, but they'll still appear in the event list. Um, Neil is back too. Welcome, Neil. So good to see some VIPs, some mods. Uh, ooh, let me make sure. Oh, we can start playing. Okay. Uh, let me send a challenge. Okay, it's starting. Okay, so I'm playing as white, and I'm... what blind am I? Rook, good card. Ooh, two rooks. So if I get a third rook, it gets demoted to a pawn. I'm a small blind. Uh, let's do a min raise. Can I min raise? Let's raise. I want to play aggressively. We'll see where he's at. These uh, these rounds can go very fast. Lisa clashes. Okay, so he folds. Maybe that came across as too strong, but it is nice to get kind of a early footing. So now I'm playing this black. I'll be the small blind. Now blinds increase. Oh yeah. Wait, I'm the ooh ooh. Okay, so I got two queens, um, which is actually better than average starting hand. We'll see what he's up to. Making sure things are running smoothly. Uh, he raises. He raises 5k. Uh, let's call. I'll probably just get it all in. Mm. Yeah, well, th this is probably going to determine things. Let's shove. All in. Okay, so this could very much determine uh, the outcome, which is not bad. Like, if we're going to go all in so early, I've, I'm happy to have a queen. There's no way he's going to fold. Yeah, okay. But he took a lot of time there. Okay, so overall, what's the value of this? This is 18 points. So this is better than average. These whites, so I have to be careful of, uh, of, of tricky tricks, of opening preparation, basically. He has a pawn, that's good. That's a weird placement for a pawn. Um, I think I want the pawn chain from e7, d6, c5. And time starts ticking, so time will be very relevant. Has another pawn. Oh, so he prevents, uh, oh, that's a funny, that's a funny setup. Um, so he's preventing kind of pawn c5. So let's play pawn. I guess at f7, um, just try and have a, a one stable pawn island. He has two pawn islands, which in some sense it could be a strength, because he has an outside pass b pawn. On the other hand, uh, it could be a weakness in the end game, so it's double edged. Has a bishop, okay. So there's a question where to put my knights. I think one knight belongs here, preventing any bishop. Uh, Bishop c6 ideas. And yeah, so he's gonna, he's gonna try and attack me. So worst case scenario, he has a queen, um, which I kind of have to plan for. I'll place an island on f8, uh, making sure there's there's no rook h8 check immediately. If he has a queen, I'm, I'm lost, but I'll try and fight. Okay, he has a rook, that's good. So. Uh, I'll place the queen on g7, and then he's he's pretty much toast here. What's material? Queen. It's basically queen and knight for two rooks. Um, but I'm threatening the bishop and the pawn on, on c3. 
Um, now, castling, castling is legal both ways for white. I don't know if he knows that. Let me make sure things are going okay. Okay, things are better. Okay. I think things were unstable from his end. But, um, okay, this position is very unstable, at least in terms of the chess. And uh, if I win this hand, then I'll, I'll win the clash because I was ahead on chips. And he's taking his time. Um, he's not resigning, but... Okay, let's take a pawn. Please rook b1. Still takes some technique. Bishop is a bit annoying. What to do? Play knight here. So it's important to note the queen controls h8, so he doesn't have rook h8, which actually took me longer than usual to, to identify. But uh, yeah, that is nice. Very important to have board vision in these, these open positions. And yeah, I think I want to put the knight here. Just blockade the pawn. And then probably when I get a chance, play e6, even e5, like e5, knight e6. And then basically just develop. e5 does block the queen to control h8. Um, but that should be okay. All right, let's throw in a check. Now probably e5. Maybe e I don't know, e6 or e5. <sighs> I don't know why I'm nervous. Let's play e5. So if rook so rook c1 I thought was some small issue, but then queen g5 forks uh the rook and bishop. Okay, so very similarly, this forks. Did I have that the move? I may have had that the move before queen g6. I think I was maybe scared of rook h8, but okay, now I'm winning at least the rook or bishop. Bishop c6 doesn't help because then I take and the rook is still attacked. Okay, so he's going to try and fight. Let's take a free bishop. Now he does that so I can check and then I can play knight c4 and it's a triple fork. Let's get some fork knight emotes. This is so nice. Yeah, so he resigns. That was very nice. Opponent, yeah, and he didn't have enough to keep playing, so I win, uh, I win the clash. So let's update that. Now I think we were supposed to take a break after the first clash. Um... Let me see. <laughs> um, take a break after first clash, right? And now let me update the score. I'm going to exit, and then I'll probably just resend the, the challenge. Um, OK, that was a very good start. Let me how do I update the score? Score. Um, okay, that, that's a very good start. I didn't want to get off on a, a bad footing. So it's first to three. So anything can happen. Maybe he's he's a bit more alert now. Um, so they say wait one minute. Yeah, um, I've kind of lost track of time. I'll give it like maybe another 30 seconds. Let's go and get ready to challenge uh, the Ginger GM. Wait, he's currently in a match. Oh, I think um, Simon, you have to exit the match for me to challenge again. Okay. Also, hello to more people. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Um, yeah, just use uh, the choker command or the choker cup command. There should be mods to answer questions. There's always Toggy to answer questions. 
Thanks again, Tagi, for the bits. Um, but yeah, I, I really can't complain with that first round. I mean, I think in general, if you have a queen, you should just try and get everything in. So, um, so okay, let me challenge again. One minute should have passed. And now, challenge sent. Now, after that, I don't know how it's going to affect him. He might be playing more safe. So I might want to... That might be an opportunity to play a bit more aggressively, but we'll see. All right, so I'm playing as white. I have a bishop and a rook. Okay, this is another very good starting hand. Um, equivalent to having, like, queen... Maybe not quite, but um, let's, yeah, let's raise. Let's min raise. This is definitely a time to play aggressively. And so far I haven't revealed much in terms of my betting because I've, I've been betting pretty aggressively. He goes all in. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm ready to call. Uh, worst case, he, he probably has a queen, but... If he has a queen, it should still be a fight, at least. Okay, pawn's not great. Queen is very good. Rook is... Okay, this is amazing hand. Um, I'll be surprised if he has something even close to the strength. Uh, let's place a pawn... I actually don't know where... Maybe a pawn to d3, because I only have one, one bishop. So I want to keep the option of, of placing my bishop um, on a long diagonal. Maybe a rook on c rook on c one looks kind of nice because I'm threatening rook c eight. I'm trying to induce him to place like a, a major piece on a eight or b eight, and then I can start attacking from from the diagonal. Like a bishop can go on g two or h two. Um, if he if he has like a rook, probably it's best to place on d eight. He might place a minor piece on d eight, but there's no way. And there's no way that this is going to be a fight. I mean, I think he just chose... Maybe he was tilted from the last round. He chose uh, an unfortunate time to go all in. But to be fair, I got really good cards with uh, the queen and rook draw. So he's taking his time. Actually, one mistake I made when I first started playing this game is taking too much time in the placement phase. So he places a rook. Um, so unless he, ha he might have a pawn, that, that might be a tricky, tricky idea, but I might as well place a bishop. Um, trying to imagine what he might have. Yeah, let's place a bishop here. I probably shouldn't take too much time because, but I should be, should be prepared for the worst case scenario. So he does have a pawn. That was very smart. Um, but I'll place a rook. He's going to defend. Worst case scenario, he has like two queens, I guess. If he was dealt five pawns in a row, but he wouldn't go all in if he was dealt two pawns initially. So he probably has some kind of minor piece. He might have a queen. Wow. Um, so I like kind of like the queen on g2. I could consider placing it on b2, but g2 has a lot of merit. It was very smart of him to to keep the pawn to place. But if he has a queen, I, I'm up, uh, almost spilled my drink there. If he has a queen, I still have a, a bishop for a pawn. Um, if he has a minor piece and I'm just completely winning. You know, it's completely winning, regardless of what he has, pretty much. Um, let's imagine he does have a queen, maybe on f7 is uh, the best place. He has a knight. Okay, that's beautiful. So I can probably just calculate some kind of forcing. Uh, maybe it's not completely forcing, but maybe it is pretty forcing. Yeah, just queen g6. 
And then if king f8 is really the only move, and then bishop f4, um, if king d8, then queen g8 would win. And now bishop f4, threatening maiden 1. Only way to stop it is to move the e-pawn. And now bishop h6. Hmm, trying to find the clear-cut win. I could just play a waiting move. Don't want to spend too much time here. Yeah, let's throw in let's throw in this because I don't want to have him get initiated by trading. And now this, and then rook c seven, and he's just toast. So I could check check. Uh, let's just do this. Let's keep it simple. So the only thing I'm concerned about is a mouse slip. Or stalemate tricks. There is pre-moving now. Um, but I'm not going to fool around with it too much. I want to play bishop e7. I could send him little emoji things, but I don't want to rub it in too much. And yeah, time is very relevant as well. Okay, let's take a pawn. So he's probably hoping for some like weird stalemate. Which is not going to happen ever. So I have bishop. Yeah, I'm just trying to like meet the king. Uh, let's play this. If king a6, queen b6 is mate. He has a pawn too. Um, but this is this is more forcing. The king has to move to a dark square. I check with the bishop, and then it's mate, force mate. Or oh, or he ran out of time. Okay, so I didn't get the choke mate. But, uh, okay, I, I won another game. Um, another clash, I should say. Was that the first? I think that was the first uh, game of that clash, too. So, I can't imagine how tilted he is. But, uh, okay, I shouldn't feel bad. So, let's exit. Yeah, from his spot, you really have to choose when, when you go all in. Um... Now I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm curious if he's going to be more tilted and he'll go all in, or if he'll just try and be a bit more safe. Um, but again, I think my strategy, I just want to go all in when I have when I have cards that I can fight with, or pieces I can fight with, I should say. So I'll give it a minute and get ready to challenge him. Um, but yeah, I'm curious actually what he was dealt, the first two cards of that last one. Because he didn't have a queen. It's possible he could have had like two rooks or rook and minor and just didn't have a um, a better follow-up than what I had. So, yeah, that worked out nicely. Um, yeah, shout out to everyone in the chat yet again. There is a three-minute delay, so uh, if you have questions, hopefully other people can, uh, can respond. Let me make sure we're on the same page here. Um... I think that's been about a minute. I'll send a challenge and Simon can choose when he wants to to begin. Oh, let me update the score actually. Update score. So two, two to zero. So there won't be any adoptions here, but I'll try and stay clean. Um, hopefully this will be our, our last clash. Let's challenge. And let me text Simon, challenge sent. Okay, I think there's been some luck on my side, maybe in some respects. Um, but it'll be interesting to kind of 
analyze, like to go back, watch both streams and see maybe what he could have done better. So I'm playing black. I think it's just random. I'm playing black and I am... Okay, Rook and Pawn. This is kind of an average hand. Um, I think I'll check. I could be aggressive too. Rook and Pawn is... Well, let's check. Let's um. Let's see what I get. Okay, so this is this is decent. So if I get another pawn or get another rook, then there will be some promotion to a queen. Um, minor would be would be the worst possibility. Let's bet. Let's bet another pot or another um, min raise. Let's see what he wants to do. If, if he shoves, I don't know what I'll do. He raises. Um, I think I should just put them all in. This might be a bad play, but if I get the queen, I'll be in good shape. I think it's statistically... I don't know what the odds are, actually. Okay, I get a queen. So Pawn would have promoted to a queen as well. Another good hand. Like, all, all the hands I've gone all in... I've had a queen, I've had good cards, and this is this is valued at 21. The average choker hand, I think, is like maybe valued at 15 or 16. Um, so now it's just a question where to put the pawns. Um, and white moves first, so I do have to be careful with placing. Yeah, the pawn, that's a good sign. I think I want to form my pawn chain. Also want to keep a time advantage. It's funny how he does this. This pawn at b4. I'm slightly surprised he has not put a pawn at... Um... Actually, where should this go? I was going to say I'm slightly surprised he hasn't put a pawn on the h-file. Because I know how much he loves Harry. What is, what is b? Barry? Or Ben? Maybe Ben. Or Benny. Okay, so he has a bishop. So I should be having a better hand. Um, let's hide the fact that I have a promoted pawn rook. I don't know what this... I know it's yellow, so it might confuse some people, but it's just... Um, it's a card that was previously a pawn, but because I got three pawns, it was promoted to a rook. Um, so even if he has a rook, he can place on c1. Like I can just defend by placing... Um, something like queen on d7 or, or rook on b8. Worst case scenario, he has queen and rook, and even in that case, I'm, I'm better. Places rook on h2. So let's put a rook on g8. I don't think he'll be able to attack me in any obvious way. Now the rook is tied down to the bishop on g2. So he could place a, like if he has a queen or rook, he could place it on c1 trying to be sneaky. But then I'll place my queen somewhere, maybe b8 or d7. If he has a minor piece, I mean, he's just dead. I think regardless, even if he has a queen, wow, he does have a queen. So it's going to be a small fight. Um, I probably want to place a queen on c7. Um... Queen c7 takes takes. There's already some calculation to do. The other option is placing queen on d7. Hmm. Or b8. Or even... No, I can't place on a6. c7 takes takes. I think I do want to simplify. Okay. Spent a lot of time there, but... I'm still up on time. I'll have to exchange. Oh, I can't pre-move? It was letting me pre-move yesterday, but maybe maybe they changed it or something. Queen a4, forgot about that move, but I have king f8. Should keep me safe. So the threat is queen c1, which is very hard to stop. He has king f2, king f2, queen b6. 
So there's no drawing arrows. King f2, queen b6. Um, yeah, okay, so now I can calculate. He's going to try and plant the bishop on c6. Um, let's start by giving a check. I can't play queen f4, because queen controls f4. Again, board vision. Let's play this move. Okay, now, now this looks nice. Trying to keep the time advantage. Threatening queen g3, the rook is tied down to the bishop. Uh, queen f4 is also a threat. I think queen g3 is pretty unstoppable. If king g1, rook c1 just wins. I really have to thank the, the gods who, who dealt me the cards. Um, queen f4... Queen f4 just wins, right? The card gods, or the chess gods, or the choker gods. Uh, and this is mate, right? About to be choke mate. Queen d1 is only legal move, because, uh, yeah, the bishop's pinned. Don't resign. Give me a choke mate. Come on, I want the choke mate. Or the flag. A clean flag. Okay, I think that's the match. That was maybe slightly easier than expected. Um, I think I, I, I just got really good cards. Um, maybe he should have he should have been a bit more cautious in the betting phase. Uh, but yeah, that was quick. Um, Simon says, "Well done, very very courteous." Just gonna say thanks. The choker gods were kind to me. Okay. Uh, so now, now what to do? There, there is a three minute delay. Um, <laughs> I, I can see my stream. People are still watching the final game. I think what I'll, I'm supposed to do is end the stream. And um, can I raid? Is, is Chess Twenty Four on Twitch? Chess24 YouTube was uh, was doing official broad official commentary. Um, Chess24. Okay, so they're on YouTube. I can't rate a YouTube channel, so maybe what I'll do is, um, I I think I do have to end the stream. They might even end it for me. We're using some different software. Um, I'll be joining the call, and let me just pull up, I'll share the link to the Chess24 YouTube, Choker Cup, there we go, here we go. So the link is in the chat, it was in the chat like three minutes ago, because, um, yeah, time is weird when there's a delay. <laughs> 